A delegation from China's Ningxia Autonomous Region meets with the Malaysia-China Chamber of Commerce in Kuala Lumpur. It's the fourth delegation from China looking to explore opportunities here that the chamber has met just this week. Many of the visitors are looking to use Malaysia as a launch pad into ASEAN. China had already become Malaysia's biggest trading partner before the China ASEAN free trade deal took effect in 2010. But since then, trade has accelerated rapidly. When China's President Xi Jinping visited Malaysia a year ago, he and Prime Minister Najib Razak set themselves an ambitious target. They said they wanted to see two-way trade increase from 100 billion US dollars a year to 160 billion by 2017. I think if we are able to expand trade from just the commodity trade, palm oil and oil and the commodity sector, to, to looking at trade in services and also to look at the non-traditional areas like education, healthcare, exchanges, I think one might be able to reach that target. ASEAN is now negotiating a regional comprehensive economic partnership, or RCEP, with China and other countries with which it already has free trade deals. Hopefully when Malaysia takes the chair of ASEAN next year, we can reach some formal conclusion on the RCEP agreement, which will, I think, take the trade uh, between China and the ASEAN countries and the wider East Asia region one step higher. A welcome prospect for Malaysia, whose economy is among the most heavily dependent on exports of any country on Earth. Ryan Meltzer, CCTV, Kuala Lumpur.